Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh. This is Josh. Hi. And today we're talking about the Turnigy Anemometer. Not animal thermometer is what you called yeah, it. Or anemometer. Yeah, he called it all kinds of crazy stuff. He even said a couple cuss words on accident. Accidentally. But you didn't see that. So. No, we cut it out. So this thing does a lot of crazy cool stuff. A lot of crazy cool stuff. It tells you stuff. all about the weather. Basically, you could go outside, with no eyeballs, no ears, and no nerve endings, and this thing would still tell you what the weather's doing. But so you could still fly. fly. No, you could still fly. Really? Yeah. It's gonna help you fly too. Oh, I guess not that much, not that yeah. far. You'll, you'll know what it's gonna be, but of course if you didn't have eyes you couldn't see, it wouldn't be telling you, so your theory's a little bit busted there. ESP, this thing is psychic. Wow. It sends messages to your brain. And it's only $17.95 too. So, That's crazy, that's yeah. cheaper than any psychic I know. Exactly, and it actually gives you reliable information too. Great. Which is pretty darn cool. All right, let's talk yeah. about it. Yeah, well th this gives you lots of features like you are talking about. Um, it gives you wind speed and you have many different gradations. Like us that live in America, we like miles per hour, feet mm -hmm. per second. But for you guys over the seas, my metric God. system. Metric system, yes. It gives you uh, meters per second, knots. Um, I think it's even kilometers uh, per hour, everything. Grams. Grams. No, it doesn't give you grams. Oh. But it gives you that. It's backlit, so you can fly in low light. You can see it. it has an auto shut off on it, and it's very, very user friendly. It even gives you wind chill, which is really, really cool. So yeah, it vibrates because it's shivering, right? No, no, oh. it doesn't do that. It actually and just the upgrade will do that. Pretty sure. Comes yeah. with a lanyard as well, so if you drop it, hey, still got Look it. Look at that. You always okay. got it with you. You can be the envy of everyone at the flight field. Oh, I mean, fashion statement. Exactly. You're not cool unless you have an ammonometer hanging around your neck. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. Did I say that right? Mm -hmm. Ammonometer. It was close enough. It was good. It was we pretty good. Points. All right, let's show them how to use it. Yeah, it's very user friendly. It only has two buttons on it. Right. Hold on mode. Yep. To uh, turn it on. Yep, that turns turn it on. Just a couple seconds. Yep. Here we go. Perfect. Now, we were talking about lots of different features. We were talking about how it has uh, all the different gradations, whether it's uh, meters per second, kilometers, knots, miles per hour, but it also has where you can display the uh, max uh, wind speed that you achieved, the, the average. average. Exactly, or obviously real time, which is what we were, you know, what, what it's normally on. Okay. It can also go Celsius and Fahrenheit for you guys over uh, the use Celsius. It's on there too, and the way over uh, just over there, over there, over seas. across the seas, maybe gotcha. into Canada, over the pond, over the pond. Gotcha. Across the border. Okay. Simple as that. Now Simple. it does have an auto shut off at 14 minutes, so if you do forget to turn it off, it will turn off automatically for you. But turning it off is really easy too. Yep. Both buttons at the same time. Yep. Boop. Boop. There it is. Gone. Gone. Today we're gonna to put this thing to the test. We're gonna push it beyond its normal features. Right. And uh, if you guys watched the uh, brick episode where we tried to uh, get a brick into the air, mm -hmm. um, we got it up off the ground going into the wind. But once we turned with the wind, it was just, it, yeah, it, it didn't stay couldn't up. Couldn't do anything with yeah, it. Yeah, couldn't do anything. A lot of that was because of relative airspeed over the wings. Because mm -hmm. uh, we did have wind going towards it. Once we turned, uh, it dropped a little bit. Okay. We're gonna actually put this thing on the airplane and see what the airplane feels. Right. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna look at the airplane's emotions. And uh, what we got is we got Chad Capper's uh, Maxi Swift here. There we go. And his uh, trusty GoPro on the front. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna mount this guy into the wind. And what this is gonna tell us is it's gonna record through on-screen display through the Eagle Tree what it's actually doing in miles per hour. And then we're gonna actually see what it feels with the wind with this guy here. Right. Now what we're gonna see hopefully is when we're going into the wind, you're gonna see a lot more speed on this guy than you are on the airplane. But when we're going with the wind, they're gonna be much closer, if not backwards. Okay. At least that's my guess, because you know, right. we don't know yet. So that, that's the goal. We're gonna pop this guy right here and uh, record, take it up for a flight. It's a real windy, cold day out there. Yes. And uh, see what the airplane feels. We should get some crazy readings. Absolutely. All right, Absolutely. let's try it. All right, let's do this. All right. Okay, we're all set up and ready to go. Yes. Now, what we're hoping to see here is he's gonna get me up in the air. Oh. <laughs> it is windy. And uh, when he tosses me into the wind, you're gonna see very little speed going forward, but you're gonna see a lot of speed through the anemometer. When we go ahead and turn with the wind, you're gonna see a lot of speed from the airplane, but less speed from the anemometer. So, uh, that's on backwards. Instant analysis. What, the, 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 the anemometer? Yeah. No, that's right. It's on backwards. It's, what it is, guys, it's, it's, there's flat blades on this, so you can hold it either way. And it's gonna read positive no matter what. And it's just as accurate whether you're holding it this way or this way. Okay. So uh, it works both ways. Gotcha. Got it? Let's go. Ready to launch me? Yeah. <laughs> Can you get it around okay? I think so. We picked a great day to do this, huh? Yep. 
All right. Now, I'm gonna climb up here, get a little bit of altitude. We're hovering at full throttle. Nice. We are flying Very really breaking. slow at full throttle. I bet you this thing could even fly backwards. Look at that. It's probably a good day and to test this though, huh? It is, it's a really good day to test this. Now, I'm gonna take a little bit farther down and right now, the anemometer should be seeing crazy numbers, but the ground speed very low. Once I turn it and go with the wind, everything's gonna change. We're gonna have less wind speed, more ground speed. Coming back around to those beautiful puffy clouds. And once again, we are hovering. And I'm at full throttle. <laughs> to give you guys an idea of the wind, it's, it's windy. It's cold. Yeah, I think we got our test there, buddy. Yeah, I think we you got You wanna go ahead and see if we can get it out yeah, one piece? Yeah, let's bring it down. There we go. Nice and easy. <laughs> nice. How's that? All right. <laughs> All right. Let's, let's go, go grab. inside. All right. See, it was cold and it was windy. Yes. Assessment time. Assessment time. 33 miles an hour. Not bad. He has a lot of air in his lungs, that's for sure. Trumpet. All right, so what we do here is we have the uh, video from the ground station, and what that's gonna show us, it's gonna show the Eagle Tree on-screen display mm -hmm. over top of what the anemometer's reading. Right. So we can actually see ground speed from the GPS, mm -hmm. and then we can see what the plane's actually feeling through wind speed. Okay. And we can compare the two. Right. All right? Okay, let's check it out. All right. Well, starting off here, launching, we were going into the wind, and if you see here, you got 25 miles an hour, and you're, you're hitting about 41 uh, miles per hour wind. Okay. So obviously it's the plane's flying slower than what the wind's measuring, which means obviously it's flying into the wind. Okay. All right. The second we turn mm -hmm. and start going with the wind, you can see these are actually much more similar. And let's pause that right here. Right. Okay. Good for Our you. ground speed, 46 miles per hour, but the wind speed's actually registering only 41. Mm -hmm. So it shows that we're actually going with the wind. The plane and the uh, the wind are actually much more in harmony with they're each one. other. They're one. Yeah, they're one. Okay. Now theoretically, as the plane goes faster and faster, that could actually drop even lower. Uh, but in a circumstance where you have much less wind uh, than this, you'd actually would feel a loss of lift when okay. you when you turn that way. Right. The, the lift being taken away, even one or two miles per hour going slow, mm -hmm. would be definitely feelable. Okay. Yeah. Going with the wind right now. Getting ready to turn back into the wind. And there it goes. We have a ground right. speed of 20 miles an hour, and uh, we were upwards of uh, 42, 43 right there. Yep. Uh, so you got about 20 mile an hour difference between the two, okay. uh, which is pretty cool. You could guesstimate then the wind's roughly around 20 mile an hour up there uh, when you're going into it. Well, that's a pretty cool little gizmo. It is amazing. Yeah. Now, now, normal circumstances, it actually is intended. You go out, you see the temperature, you see the wind speed. Uh, but in this case, it was pretty darn cool. We got to actually show what the airframe was actually experiencing mm -hmm. as far as wind speed. And wind speed's everything. Ground speed means nothing to an airplane. It all has to do with the wind going over its wings, and we were able to use the anemometer to uh, actually demonstrate that. Great. So I hope you guys learned something about that, but yeah, yeah. going against the wind, the, the plane's experienced a lot more wind and going with it, a lot less. Makes sense to Hence me. different flight characteristics. All right, well, I want to thank you guys for watching. Thanks, Hobby King, for sponsoring this episode. Make sure you keep subscribing. Buy the animal, animal thermometer. Yeah, buy it. Buy the It's good stuff. All right, we'll see you next time. See you next time. So what we're doing is we're actually gonna fly a plane through a sheet of glass. Yes. And this is not something that you should try at home yeah. Unless you're at Chad's home. It's yeah. kind of a uh, it's kind of a Bermuda Triangle of jurisdictions where everything's legal right up here on top of this hill. Well said. So it, it works out yeah. pretty nice. Yeah.